and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Nsikak Omar if this is your first time please don't make it your last I have fashion related content lifestyle and vlogs in stock for you so we're starting a new series where we drink wine and talk about everything ranging from lifestyle dating life how to do this how to do that everything you will want to talk about we're gonna be talking about it in this series so in the beginning of this year I made a promise to myself that I want to always look put together regardless of where I'm going or what I am doing I want to always be put together so I will share with you tips and tricks on how to always be put together even when your life is not in order you can always look put together so the first step to always looking put together is to be clean cleanliness is next to godliness you want to make sure that you have showered you've brushed your teeth your hair is not smelling your clothes is not smelling and you're stepping out and people actually appreciate you for who you are because you have to be neat that's who you are you are a clean person you don't have to get into a store and everybody's suddenly wondering what stepped in who stepped in you don't have to start talking to somebody and everybody's struggling to breathe or trying to find a space where they can breathe fresh air outside or something so that is the first step to always looking put together it doesn't cost you anything to be clean to shower in the morning to brush your teeth to wash your hair to even if you cannot make your nails leave it neat don't have dirt under your nails that is one of the first steps looking put together the second trick is to always smell good that your clothes are neat and you have brushed you need to top that up with a good body spray a good deodorant you don't have to go out there and you look very neat but you're smelling funny and the most beautiful part of this is that deodorants body sprays perfumes actually come in cheaper forms so you do not have to break the bank to smell good you cannot afford the high-end perfumes there are nice smelling perfumes out here that do not even cost a lot of money and you'll be out there smelling good you don't have to bring up the excuse that they are so expensive i can't afford them no they are not expensive go for the one you can afford that smells very nice and top up your clean girl look with that the third trick to always looking put together is to always dress neat. Coco Chanel once said, dress shabbily and they'll remember the dress. Dress impeccably and they'll remember the woman. So it doesn't matter if you are just trying to go to the mall to buy something. You can put on a scarf if you don't want to wear a wig. Put on a scarf, wear a long dress if you don't want to do too much and you look good, you look put together. Not because you're going out to the mall to buy something and the mall is close to your house. You just leave your hair like that and you're running around wearing a mini skirt that you have to keep dragging down and you're looking very shabby and everybody's wondering where is she coming out from, what's wrong with her? But if you just put on a scarf because you do not feel like wearing a wig, put on a long dress or put on a trouser or a leggings and a top and smell good and then you go to the mall, you look very put together. And nobody will know that, oh, you're just rushing into the mall also you know people think that when you are able to afford designers that you always look put together no putting on all that gucci all the big names on your body at once does not make you look put together at all you have to always make sure that you dress for the occasion if you're going to the club then by all means wear your mini skirts wear your very short dress look as beautiful as you want to but if you're going to church i don't see a reason why you should wear a very short dress to church maybe somebody invited you to a work gathering and you're going there looking with your cut out dress everywhere looking for you are not dressed for the occasion because the fact that you ha you're going to church and you're wearing a very short dress which you can't even sit well you have to keep adjusting and it doesn't make you comfortable and it makes people look at you like what is wrong with this person doesn't make you look good doesn't make you look decent doesn't make you look good for the occasion so you dress for the occasion so we're still going to dwell with outfits because you know that's my thing so one advice i'll give you if you're trying to always look put together is not to follow the trend do not follow the trend because you end up looking very funny and <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So what I would advise you to do is buy staples, 
fill your wardrobe with staples with whites with black with neutrals that you can mix and match so you step out not looking like every other person out there you step out in your clean blue shirt your black pants and then you're looking very good you can even wear leggings and wear a nice shirt on top without having to go and buy all those dupes where everybody is wearing and you end up looking very funny on the streets or you wear something and then you're on the streets and that girl selling granuts is wearing what you're wearing that is what happens when you do what every other person is doing so i'm not against people buying what they like because obviously it's what you like but i'm just saying can you invest in staples can you not just go to the market and buy whatever is in the market because most of these things in our local markets are massively produced they are mass production and there's no how you if you're somebody who doesn't like to wear what every other person is wearing you get into a place and if that was a cheap mass production every other person will have it down to somebody in the streets no i am not shedding anybody in the streets right now but down to somebody in the streets that you can you know that situation where you go to a restaurant to eat and the table mat is the same as your dress it's a little bit off for me because i do not like to wear what every other person is wearing another trick to always looking put together is to dress for your body type no matter how pretty your dress is how clean you look if you go out there and you're not dressed for your body type you will look very funny and you're not put together so say you have an apple shaped body and you're trying to fit in a dress that you should have just maybe you should have just bought something a size bigger or a size yeah a size larger and you went for a smaller size when you know your body shape and now you're all over the place looking very very funny so dressing for your body type really really helps you to look put together if you think that going size up will give you the frame will give you the shape by all means go a size up and also if you think that oh i can just wear anything even if it's size lower and it's too tight on you you could have a fashion mishap your zip could bust and you end up getting embarrassed Nobody wants that in 2023. So dress for your body type, wear what fits your body, wear what makes you feel comfortable because the moment you're comfortable, you're able to interact, you're able to feel good and look put together. So the next trick to always looking put together is your etiquette. How you talk in public, how you, the things you get to say in public. You know, it's different if you and your friends get to talk like that in private you get to say funny stuff to each other in private is very different from when you bring it out to public when you are in a restaurant where people just want to eat quietly and you're laughing so loud dragging or drawing unnecessary attention to yourselves or when you are in public and you're saying you're, you're pushing out slurs and you're saying things that you shouldn't say in public we all know things like that so you don't look put together that way no matter how good you look somebody turns around and look at you like this man or this girl or this lady that looks so good hear the things that is coming out from her mouth or something so to always look put together you have to be mindful of what you say in public you have to be mindful of your behaviors in public you don't want to go out there and your attitude is shabby because you look good your attitude is shabby you don't want to do that another trick is to wear a decent amount of makeup if you're stepping out and where you're going to you need to wear makeup can you try wearing a decent amount of makeup it is not my field i am not a makeup artist i'm not very good with makeup but when i see people who overdo things with makeup end up having cakey makeup end up having heavy makeup when you shouldn't be having heavy makeup be like you look good but your makeup is doing too much why are you doing that to yourself my opinion though that's my opinion because i feel decent a decent amount of makeup actually makes you look put together so imagine you have a clean makeup on your hair is in a slick bun or you have your wig on and you're wearing a white shirt a nude colored shirt and you're wearing a nice skirt a nice trouser a nice leggings and you're talking good you're smelling good 
can you get that mental picture of what I'm talking about? Another trick to always looking put together is to always iron your clothes. If you have clothes that need ironing and you know that you're going to be wearing them out, why don't you just iron them the night before? I mean, we know the situation of things in Nigeria, sometimes you do not have light. And if you have that type of generator that cannot pick your irons, you need to be proactive. You need to iron your clothes the night before you step out. Not when you're ready, you're looking good, everything is in place, and then your clothes is rumpled. And now you do not have a choice but to wear it because no other clothes can do the job for you. And you end up looking funny. Because that's the first thing people see when they are talking to you, when they are approaching you, when they see you. That's the first thing, your clothes, your hair, your shoes. So they are now wondering, what is this one? Where did this person come out from? So iron your clothes, make sure they are clean. The last trick to looking very good and put together in public is to always be confident in yourself. This is the best trick. Because sometimes you see somebody who is just there and they have this confidence and you're wondering like, what is giving this person this confidence? That is what it is. Because no matter how much you dress well, no matter how much you smell good, no matter how much you look good, if you are not confident that you look good, you will always end up staying in the back because you don't think people should see you. But if you look good, you dress well, you smell good, and you're confident in yourself, you just want every other person to see you because you know you are the game, you know you are the prize, you know you are the queen. So always find confidence in everything. Be confident that you can do it. Be confident that you can be seen. Don't shy away from being seen. No, you want to be seen. Don't let any other person's opinion of you stop you from feeling confident, stop you from being seen, stop you from feeling good about yourself because feeling good about yourself actually comes from inside. If you do not feel good, then whatever anybody says about you, whatever anybody, whatever is anybody's perception about you, you want to believe that. But if you know you are the game, you know you are the prize, whatever they say, doesn't touch you at all because you know they're just talking people will always talk people will stare so make it worth it so my loves with that we have come to the end of today's video and i hope that these tricks that i have given you will also help you look put together in 2023 as has helped me look put together in 2023 if you have other tips other tricks you can leave it down in the comment section we're going to put it to use and come back and tell you how good it has been so thank you for coming to my sip talk and if you're here and you have not subscribed please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe share it tell your friends come back for another sip talk Bye guys!